Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to be testing complex text paragraphs, which include multiple fonts and also multiple line heights. And we can take a look at this within the example. So there's a couple of things that we're going to note about this off the bat. And one of the very first ones is the layer name. Now, we have a P tag, which is what will actually render multiple uh, line heights as well as multiple styles within your paragraph. But this isn't necessary when you're actually using a paragraph paragraph element. So we can actually remove these and we're going to take a look at the export and correct any uh, issues that we might find. Now, if we take a look at the design itself really quick, and let me just uh, finish doing that quick, really quick. So if we take a look at the design, what we'll see here is that we have multiple styles that are rendered within this block itself. So you can see here some of the properties change as we just simply click through. Now, within the second block, what we have are multiple font sizes. So you can see here we have 70, while here we have 36. You can note this over here. And in our third block, we have multiple line heights. So this is an 84 line height. This is a 55. This is a 40. This is an 82. So you can see there are multiple line heights that we're using. Now, the other thing to note about the design is that as long as we have paragraph uh, selected within the text block itself, what it will do is actually render with all the font styles that are applied. But you'll see here what we have is a label uh, text. So let's just go ahead and export first, and we'll deal with any errors that we encounter afterwards. So I know where this is being saved, and let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So you'll see here that we actually have our first block rendered. Our second block looks like it's using the original styles while our third block is rendered correctly. So uh, without actually looking at the HTML itself any further, let's go back to the design because we can see a visual error. So there are two things that we can do with this. Now, one, what we can do is, you know, probably the easiest route is simply change this to a paragraph. And if we re-export, You'll see here that it applied all the styles correctly as it should within the actual document itself. Now, um, you'll note, and there is some give and take when you're using uh, multiple line heights, you'll see here that a bit of the text is cut off. So there are ways to correct this within the design, and this is to simply increase the height of the container uh, because XD and the web do not render text the exact same. Uh, so let's just do one other correction that we could have done uh, in the beginning. So originally we had this as a label text. So let's just go ahead and undo that so you can see it's a label text now. But what we also can do is simply add a P tag to the label text and that will render it uh, with the styles that are given within the actual object itself. So let's go ahead, let's just re-export this. And you'll see now that using an actual P tag, it corrected the issues that we had with a bit of the text being chopped off. Now the text was chopping off originally simply because we didn't have a large enough space within our container in the design. You can see this is just pretty much exactly the size there. And again, XD and the web do not render the exact same. But you can see that what we did simply was you know, using a couple of steps. So first we changed the type of text block that fixed one issue, but we still found another issue with the clipping. And we can simply correct that using a P tag. So you can see here that now you can have complete options when you're using your text elements when you render your XD designs to HTML using Export Kit.